Hey, what's up my panda crew? I uh, I just want to make this video because someone in my comment section didn't understand how to add the add-on for the PSK file into Blender. So now I'm going to show you guys how to do it. So first thing you need to do is go to your web browser, come over here, and you want to go to this website, which I'm going to put in the link in the description for you if you don't have it. Uh, and this is going to be very important, so you got to listen to me. Uh, you want to click on this button here, and you want to download zip. And then d and, uh, download this. And then obviously go ahead and uh, open it or whatever when you uh, install it. I'm just going to install it again because I have mad room on my hard drive, so it doesn't matter. So I'm going to save it. Now what this is doing is it's saving the master code for all these. And it's just going to put it in that raw file. But we're going to need that. So hold on to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that here. And now this is going to be very important. Uh, you want to hold the Windows button. That button. And hit R. And in this, you want to tap F. Oh, sorry. I was wrong. App data. And then it'll take you to this screen. Now, there's other ways to get to this file. You could hit the Windows key and type in uh, percent app data percent. And it'll take you to the same location. It's just one directory ahead. And then you could just click on app data and it'll take you to the same screen. So from here, we're going to local, okay, and then we're going to go down to Blender, I think it's Blender Foundations, hold on. I remember where this goes. Where does this go? Hold on. Was it not in local? Was it in roaming? There you go. Sorry. Right, so when you're at this screen, you click on roaming and you go to Blender Foundation. Open this. Go to 2.91 or whatever version you're running. Uh, I'm using the Steam version, so this is how I do it. Uh, go, go open scripts, add ons, and then you'll get this fucking stupid garbage, okay? These are your add ons. So. You want to open this. And you're going to drag and drop. Uh, let's see here. Let me make sure I'm doing it correctly. Yeah, you just take this folder here and drag and drop it in here. And it's done. But that's not it. We're not over yet. So now what we got to do is we got to open Blender. Okay. If it would fucking open. And up here in the top, we want to go to edit. And uh, in this box, we want to put, let's see here. This in. believe that's what we're looking for yes so you put that into the search bar and then you check this and then restart blender and there you go you got it it's that simple Basically, the way I taught you in the video is the old school way of putting it manually in. You could do it by installing it by the by the program itself. But I don't like doing that way because I like to make sure that I'm installing it and making sure it's in the right folder and shit like that. Because I'm a weird fanatic and I like things organized. So that's how I do it. But once you install it, once you put it in that, that application folder, then... um. It's on your computer like one it's, it's on blender it's it's not gonna go anywhere 
Uh, if Blender updates, you're going to have to copy and paste all that stuff into the new folder and the app data under roaming. But other than that, you're going to have, um, you're going to have all your shit. You're not going to need to reinstall like a new update or whatever like that. Uh, yeah. So if you like my content, please subscribe and hit that like button. If you don't like me, then unsubscribe. Don't like any of my videos. Go away. Because this is really fun for me. And I like to show you guys how to do all this stuff. Without further ado, Panda Fam, I'll see you in the next video.